Howdy folks, back with another section of the trailer. These gussets, these wooden planks, I'm going to do separately. Support struts, some kind of step, and these tow hooks. This is what it looks like. The uh, supports are here, on both sides. There's a step, and you've got these little tow hooks. The two wooden planks that sit here, I'm going to do separately, I'm going to paint them. There's the other kind of um, winch or towing part. Our next section we're working on are what looks like the air tanks for the air brakes for the trailer. And we're going to go ahead and do that as well now. Okay, folks, I've gone ahead and done this uh, air tank for the uh, trailer for the air brakes. I was trying to do it on camera but it was so fiddly with all these lines there's no way I could do it without getting hands in the way so I've gone ahead and built it off camera but it's really fiddly these air lines so fragile but that's what the finished product looks like I'm going to let this set carefully and mount this to the bottom of the trailer Okay, the, the uh, air tanks are in. I've just got to adjust some of the air lines slightly. And these mounting brackets are inside there now. This airline hose is in. Our next step is working on um, this section. You've got these little brackets and you've got your airbags. And then once that's done, we'll be working on the... Uh, Uh, drivetrain and stuff, not drivetrain, but the uh, axles and stuff for the um, trailer. You got to do this twice. There's one there and then one further up, which looks like this on this page. There's another one there, another axle, and then all those wheels on the trailer. And then you'll be working on the ramps. So, like I say, next step would be airbag suspension and stuff. Okay, folks, the suspension is all done now. This is quite fixed into place. It doesn't really move, but in the real vehicle, it would because these sections, these black bits, would be airbags. This section rotates on the kit, and it would on the real vehicle. On the kit, I don't really understand why they would do that um, until later. We uh, put on the rest of the parts, but at the moment I don't really see the point of it. Um, but the next section we'll be working on putting on the uh, drums sections for the wheels. A couple of lights have got to go on the bottom, and then it's all the tyres. All these tyres. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight tyres besides, so 16 in total for the trailer. Bit of a beast of a trailer, and then it's working on the uh, ramps. Okay, folks. All the uh, suspension is all put together in, and I put the uh, metal um, wads in for the uh, wheels. These segments here is how the wheels come. We will have to cut out the center piece and give it a little bit of a clean up. Once you've done the clean up, they simply just find this groove, which you've got the cutout in it, and it will just slide over the top, and they will look like something like this. And then once you're ready to put tires on and glue the two tires together, then they look like this. I'm going to go ahead and finish off making the rest of the tyres. Once these are all done, the next step is working on the ramps. Okay folks, I want to talk about this ramps. I've put the ramps together now. Um, but they recommend you not to glue it so you can like move them about. But me personally... Once I've built, you're going to build it. You're going to probably 
leave it and have it display piece. So me personally, I've just glued them into place. I don't see the point of them being movable. It's a good idea, so you can adjust them in different positions. But me personally, I'm just going to leave the ramps up. So this is how they're going to be looked. I have seen some trailers have got red and yellow stripes on the back, like warning markings. But I was thinking of doing that, but I'm not going to now. Um, all I've got left to do now on this, as I say, is finish off the tyres. You do get these other mounting brackets, but the tank I'll be putting on this is the uh, American tank, um, the M1A Abram. Because it's such a wide tank, it will fit right over the edge, right on the edge. So these extra mounting points, I won't be needing them. Um, you get some tools that go in here, the spare tyre's got to go on the back, some tools that get attached to the side, some planks of wood. You get some, um, I'm not sure what you call them, but they're those hook points, those rings, like D-rings. There's a couple of these go on here, but I'm not going to put them on just yet up here, there's those D-rings. reason being is because when the tank's on here, um, there's some chains that link to the uh, tow hooks on the tank and link up to these so um, the chain I'll be using is like copper chaining so I'm going to leave the uh, those ho hooks off for, for a minute once I put the chain on to the tank and link it up I can put it, put it all put it all into place in once you know what I mean um, I'll say this is let these ramps dry and it's ready for paint Okay, we're going to go ahead and start painting it in NATO black. Okay, I've just finished painting the uh, NATO black, which is my shadow colour. Um, there's a couple of places where I've got a slightly little bit of touch up, but this is the main bulk of it. Um, this is, like I say, my shadow colour. My next colour will be the uh, US Army desert colour, um, like I did for the truck. And then it'll be ready to put the wheels on, and then it'll be ready to uh, wash and grime it up and stuff, and then it'll be a completed model. And then the next step to finish this as a complete model, I want to put the uh, Abraham tank on the back of this trailer. So the next step would be, like I say, putting a desert colour on. Okay folks, the top layer uh, of the desert colour is all painted. Um, I've still got a little bit of touch up on the bottom to do. Um, and I've got to paint the wheels. And the trailer is pretty much there. Um, I've got to put the tools on the side. Which goes on this side arm. 
and then it'd be ready for like washes and grimes and desert colours and stuff to uh, grime it up a little bit. It's going to be more dusty than anything I imagine. Um, but it's coming along nicely. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you later.